Greetings and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I specialize in using nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures if you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality and health and well-being and to addressing your health challenges whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body, you are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health issue. That's why we're here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 29 years of practicing pharmacy, I've seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes and hypertension and obesity and skin diseases like psoriasis, acne, eczema, rosacea, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system, a regenerating system, it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment -moment basis, and while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you are dealing with a health challenge, if you have a loved one who's dealing with a health challenge, please understand if it is a chronic, progressive, long-term, metabolic, biochemical issue, if it's not mechanical, if you haven't had something broken or traumatized, even then, the human body is a healing system. Nobody is condemned. But especially if you're dealing with diabetes or skin issues or autoimmune diseases or, God forbid, cancer or heart disease or any of the ways our body breaks down, please understand it is in the body's nature to heal. It is our divine birthright to heal, to regenerate, to renew, to anti-age. And we can help you do that. 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. If you have questions about the longevity products, formulations, ingredients, skin health issues, if you want to contribute to our conversation or if you have a success story you'd like to share, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised, please head over to brightsideben.com or my blogs, pharmacistben.com or criticalhealthnews.com. You can order products right off the website. You can also sign up to join the Brightside Ben team right off the website, or you can call the phone team at 866-735-2470 if you're interested in starting a business, or if you just want to get your products at the wholesale price for a one-time $25 fee, you can be part of the Brightside Ben team, and we can change the world together. We can change lives together. That's what this is really all about. It's about changing lives and then changing the world. Most of you or many of you may know that uh, the political season has officially begun today in Iowa. And you hear all kinds of things from Donald Trump and Ted Cruz and Hillary Clinton and Martin O'Malley and Bernie Sanders about how we're going to change the world, how they're going to change the world with their policies. Well, guess what, folks? Changing the world by changing us individually, by changing our health individually, should be the priority. We've got a sick, sick, sick country and a sick world where the health statistics are mind-bogglingly mind -boggling, mind ridiculously high. One out of every two or every three people is affected by some kind of chronic long-term degenerative disease, even if it's just obesity and diabetes. And we've been talking about diabetes here for uh, now the last couple of days. And it's hard not to talk about diabetes if you have a health care program. Everybody knows diabetes is a sugar issue. But you know what? It's also an inflammatory issue. And we've been talking inflammation and how it is associated with every single health challenge. It's a defensive response. Health challenges are a manifestation of a defensive response. That's all you really need to know to, number one, understand our power over the disease process, and number two, to remove the power from the medical model. The medical model doesn't want us to know or doesn't know itself or hasn't made the connection between defense and disease. Disease, dis-ease, out of ease, dis-ease is a defensive response. It's a defensive response run amok. That's all we need to know to reverse the disease process, no matter what that disease is. Whether it's cancer or heart disease or acne or eczema, whatever. If we understand the nature of chronic degenerative disease, diseases that don't heal, that, perpetua that continue, uh, continuously and perpetually progress. They don't stop. They get worse. 
All we need to know is that this is an inflammatory slash defensive response. It's a protective mechanism run amok. And when we talk about inflammation, there's two kinds, as we've said. You've got the macro inflammation, the big inflammation. That's the kind, that you, uh, the kind of inflammation that occurs when you have a, a wound, a trauma, some kind of mechanical breakdown. It affects organs, tissues, large parts of the body. It's visible. It's obvious. But the sneaky kind of inflammation, the sneaky, invisible defensive response, that's the part that is responsible. <clears throat> that's the kind that's responsible for the chronic degenerative disease process, excuse me. The microscopic inflammation that occurs at the invisible, imperceptible level of a cell. The same thing that happens to our leg or our, or our ankle or our knee or our eye when we get a black eye or whatever part of our body that inflames when we get wounded or we get traumatized, that same exact process occurs microscopically. Just like our joints are attacked and they inflame, our cell is attack, attacked and it inflames. A cell gets attacked by microparticles. Your doctor doesn't know this. Micro part, most doctors, microparticles, tiny particles in the blood are an attacking f agent. They're the enemy. Microparticles, these microparticles come from two places, mostly from food. And then secondly, these microparticles come in from damage. This is where the circle, the vicious cycle begins because when a cell becomes damaged and ultimately dies, it releases microparticles and that makes the problem worse. But it's the microparticles in the blood that are responsible. That's all we need to understand. And it really is just common sense. You got the bad guy, you know, to put it simply, the bad guys are in the blood and you get a defensive response. And inflammation is this defensive response and it's behind everything. This is such good news. It gives us our power back. So these microparticles that initiate the inflammatory response are responsible for all ALL, all chronic degenerative diseases, all of them. There's no such thing as a chronic degenerative disease without these, this kind of microparticle attack. Have you heard that before? Well, only if you listen to this program. Nobody's talking about it. I don't know why, because this is really where, we're, where our power comes from. Now, food is the big one. Food is, the, is really where it all begins, is with food and the digestive system. Foreign agents from food enter into the blood through a leaky digestive tract. Leaky gut syndrome. When I started hearing about leaky gut syndrome, it was 25 years ago in my compounding pharmacy. I was making special medicine to, uh, to, uh, to assess leaky gut, gut syndrome. Chiropractors back then were assessing leaky gut syndrome. I don't even believe in assessing. If you have a, some kind of health challenge, it's, you pretty much have leaky gut syndrome. You can pretty much assume it. In fact, even if you don't, you can assume it's beginning just because of the way we eat. Beginning when we're born. In utero, really, even beginning in the womb. I used to make this... Uh, Lactulose mannose drink. It was a special blend of sugars, and they used it. You'd have to drink it, and then they would do a stool sample and see how much of one was in your stool and how much wasn't. And they do some formulation, uh, some formulas, and figure out how bad your leaky gut syndrome was. And this was 25 years ago. That's one thing about health: is people who are savvy, people who study, people who are in the know, people who do research. And it doesn't have to be scientific research. It just could be, you know, academic research. Know about things 25 years before anybody else knows about it. By the time you read about it in the press, we've known about it. Researchers have known about it. Savvy uh, therapists and healers have known about it for decades. Leaky gut syndrome's classic gluten. I was talking about gluten 25 years ago. Dr. Wallach was talking about gluten 25 years ago. Now everybody's gluten-free. All gluten. Now, now you have a... <laughs> this is funny. Now you have a pendulum effect where people are saying gluten is BS. First you have nobody knows what the heck you're talking about, then everybody's gluten intolerant, and now there's a pendulum effect where a lot of people are saying it's all BS just to sell you products. This is the craziness of health when the whole thing is so darn simple. I got this email today about diabetes. Oh my God, it cracked me up. Not in a good way either. I'll tell you what I mean when we come back from our break. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. We'll be back right after this. Thank you for listening to GCN. Be sure to visit GCNlive.com today.
Bright Side. I am Pharmacist Ben. Got lines open for you. Try to call in early, please, so we can get to as many calls as possible. If you're dealing with a health challenge, or if you want help weaning off your meds or helping a loved one weaning themselves off their medication, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side, 844-236-6010. This is your common sense nutritional health program. Just common sense we talk about here. Nothing fancy schmancy. You don't need a medical degree to understand how to take care of your body. That's a myth and a myth that doesn't serve us. Health is simple because the body is built to be healthy. It's designed to be healthy. We don't have to really do anything as much as we just have to sustain the process and not interfere with it mostly. If you're on a medication and you want help getting off of it, a medication for a chronic long-term health challenge, if you want to reverse, you want to if you need help reversing a chronic long-term health challenge, we're here for you. 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. And if you have a success story you'd like to share, those are super helpful. I know, you, know they're out there because I talk to you guys all the time. But when you share a success story I, I, on the air, not just to me, but on the air, you help other people. And there's lots of people listening to this program that are on the fence. Because a lot of what we talk about is in contradistinction to what we hear from the mainstream medical model that wants us to believe that health is so difficult, that you need to be medicated. Oh, the best, that you need to get off your drugs or off your nutrients so your drugs work. I love that one. I heard, I got this email, I get all these health emails, probably like some of you guys, and I got this one that just cracked me up today. Cure for diabetes found. Okay, hmm, cure for diabetes. Well, I got my, that got my attention. You don't really need to cure diabetes, obviously, because it's, it's not a disease, really. It's just something that happens in response to something we're doing. Anyway, cure for diabetes. So I turn it on. I open it up, and there's a video, and I listen to it. Oh, this guy's talking about this magical cure that this famous doctor came up with. What is this magical cure? Well, he noticed that people who had gastric bypass surgery had better, uh, if they had diabetes, their diabetes improved. So he figured this is the genius cure for this genius doctor that you could spend $25 or $30 for, for to get the report. When you eat differently, your diabetes goes away. Oh my goodness, how did they come up with this? Geniuses. Diabetes is an eating disease. Period. But you get these emails with these miracle cures for diabetes. Dr. Wallach used to get in such trouble for telling people he was going to cure diabetes. It's simple. It's simple. It's easy. It happens all the time. All the time people get off their insulin. All the time people get off their drugs. If it's not happening to you, that simply means that you're not doing the right things. That's all. It's not a curse. You're not doomed. At its most basic and fundamental level, diabetes is an eating issue. I don't want to even say the disease, even though that's what it's called. It's an eating issue. You need no help to get off your insulin. You need no help to get off of your anti-diabetes medication. You simply need to provide your body with what it needs and don't put the bad stuff in. Diabetes is an inflammatory disease. Now most people know it's a sugar issue and sugar is definitely the problem, primarily, but sugar is also an inducer of an inflammatory response. Sugar represents a toxin to the body. It's not specifically toxic if you're, you know, you want to you know, be, be super, super specific about it. Okay, it's not specifically a toxin, but it initiates a protective response. It initiates an inflammatory response after a tiny, teeny, weeny little bit, maybe a teaspoon in your entire circulatory system. After that, you're going to go into some kind of biochemical response that's protective. Partially, it's insulin, but over the course of time, when insulin, the body just stops listening to insulin, other inflammatory chemicals kick in. Diabetes, the link between diabetes and inflammation is now known. It's definitive. And I got a bunch of papers here that I collected. I don't know where they are now. Okay, here's a great one. Inflammation, inflammation, stress, and diabetes. This is from the Journal of Clinical Investigation. This is from 2005, 10 years ago, 11 years ago. Over the last decade, an abundance of evidence has emerged demonstrating a... Uh, a close link between metabolism and immunity. Metabolism is the code word for, for sugar metabolism, and immunity means inflammation. Further continues, it is now clear that obesity is associated with a state of low-level inflammation. Low-level meaning micro-inflammation, which is what we talk about. So diabetes is an eating issue. It involves sugar, and it involves fat. And fats and inflammation go hand-in-hand.